Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Fantasy for the Ages, the show where a father and son, who's not here today, get together, or sometimes individually, come and talk about fantasy, science fiction, and other nerdy things that we enjoy. Today, this is a Just Jim episode, as I'm bringing a book blast to you on Night of Knives, a novel of the Malazan Empire. This is a spoiler light review, so if you've read it, see if you agree with me. And if you haven't, I'm not going to ruin the plot for you, so you are safe here. If you like this episode, don't forget to click that like button down below. We hope you'll subscribe to our channel. Leave comments down below, and I will respond. And look in the show notes for other ways that you can interact with Zach and I, our social media presence, our Discord server, even becoming a supporter on Patreon. Thank you to those of you who already support us there. I'm continuing on with my journey into Malazan Book of the Fallen, currently just starting out with Book 6, The Bone Hunters. But after reading Book 5, Midnight Tides, which was awesome, my favorite to this point, I stepped out of the core novels to dive into this first of the corollary books. This is also the first book written by Ian C. Esselmont in the Malazan universe that I've experienced. See, I'm using a recommended reading order that definitely prioritizes the 10 core novels. As I move into the back five, it interjects some of these other stories, specifically five different stories that I will read before I finish The Crippled God, book 10. This was my first time stepping out of the main sequence. And it was the first time I've read something not by Steven Erickson. I understand the whole concept of Malazan Book of the Fallen, uh, the world, worlds in which this occurs, is actually the mutual brainchild of Erickson and Esselmont. Something they put together years earlier, before either one lifted a pen or keyboard and started putting words to page. With Knight of Knives, I finally get to hear the other voice, therefore, involved in this Malazan creation. Listening to the fandom speak about Knight of Knives, this is not a very popular novel. One person corresponding with me on Twitter actually called it fanfic, and not very good at that. I could not disagree more. Here's what I valued about reading this book. One. It's a short, action-packed novel. The action of the story actually all takes place within one 24-hour period. Although there is time given for some crucial flashbacks that are really significant in this story. In this way, this novel is actually more digestible than the core novels, which are all freaking long. It was actually a fun change of pace. I'm not complaining about the length of the core novels, just I liked this difference. Number two, the point of view characters are entirely outside the core focus powers of Malazan. The core novels always give us POVs from secondary characters intermixed with the more significant core players of the tale. This one sticks to the side characters all the way through, showing how they're swept up and intermingling with these heavy hitters of the series. It was a perspective I really enjoyed. Number three, the story gives us some reveals that I totally loved. Things that had been referenced or hinted at in the core novels, but now finally given some screen time. I enjoyed that, including a few key characters who've only been seen super briefly, and if you weren't paying close attention, you might even have missed it. But in this book, they're finally more directly involved. Finally, number four. Esselmont sticks with the technique that Erickson uses of not telling us everything. He trusts the reader. He doesn't hold our hand. He still leaves it to us to puzzle some things out. And some of the mysteries in this book still are not explained. We get to postulate or infer some things and determine what we think they mean, but we don't fully know yet. And that just keeps us coming back for more from Malazan. So... I find myself scratching my head at the dislike for this book that I see in the fandom. 
Some just dismiss it as not up to the standards of the other books. And okay, maybe that's just a preference thing. But then there's people who generally seem to think like they'd rather it didn't exist at all. They claim Esselmont doesn't really hit his stride as an author until his third book. Like this is bleh, compared to what it will get to later. Well, what I can say is I found this book delightful, entertaining, highly satisfying. So clearly what's going to come from Esselmont down the road is going to blow my mind. Knight of Knives. I fully recommend it. I also recommend reading the first five Malazan books prior to reading this one. So get through that first half of the core sequence, then try Knight of Knives. For me, it felt right to place it here. I had enough context to appreciate what I was reading, and I don't feel like it totally dropped any bombs on me that may mess up future books. It was more um, validating and confirming things that I already knew of or thought I knew. And seeing some things from a new perspective, it added a little more richness to the Malazan experience. So that's where I'll leave you. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.